Hello and welcome back for the final time today to the studio here at the Big Event Streamed Live. We've had a fantastic day so far and the fun doesn't stop yet as I'm joined by Harrison Hughes who is the EV Rally Manager for this summer's London to Paris EV Rally. Welcome Harrison, thank you for joining us. Can you start by telling us a bit about the rally and how the idea came about? Yeah, absolutely. So first of all, thank you for having me on the show today. I mean, what a great event. It's, it's I've driven down. You. Yeah, and it's really, it's really nice to come and see so many more people coming in their petrol cars and crowding around the EVs that are on the show. It's all about what you know. It's all about what we're about. Yeah, brilliant. Um, so the EV rally, we've been going for the past three years. We've done London to Brighton, the classic route of an ele of a normal vehicle rally, um, and it's all about energy efficiency and showing off what EVs can can do and educating people. Now this year we've decided to go to Paris, a bit more of a challenge, but as EV range ranges increase. It's not really, it's not too much, uh, too much hassle anymore. You're, you're going to Paris. How are we comparing in the UK to like other countries in Europe, so like, like France? Ten times better. Let me tell you that. I've done a few dry runs over to Paris. Um, I've obviously needed to charge my car up on the way. And we're not, I'm not saying we're the best here, but we do have a lot of charging infrastructure compared to places like France. Now, I know they're growing. As I was driving back from my dry run, they were building new EV charging stations, which are going to be ready for us uh, when we have 150 vehicles coming over with us. So, um, but but it is, you've checked all the spots on way so that's everyone it. We, can... Uh... We've checked all the spots. And what we've done this year, we've taken on board um, someone that's in the industry of accessible EV charging. So we're only charging in accessible locations, um, which I know at the moment for EV drivers that do need the extra space, it's a big deal because it the is. spaces are small. They've got big, heavy cables. And um, I think we're starting to put people to shame, charging to companies, that they really do need to start focusing on these 650,000 motability drivers that are going to change to an electric vehicle. Mm. And it's not just, you know, motability customers. There's over, I think it's over 2 million disabled people who, who have driving licences. So, you know, it's, it's a large number of drivers out there. I mean, I'm quite impressed that you've been able to find that number of accessible charging points because I think they're few and far between. They, they, they are few and far between, but they're getting there now. Now, what most people don't realise is from where, I, where we start in London on the rally all the way to Paris, it's only 160 miles. Oh. Most of the cars in this room will make it there and possibly back yeah. on one charge. <laughs> so we have selected um, a new, brand new install. It's, I think it's just about opened that have focused on accessibility. Right. Um, that's got enough room for all of us to charge and uh, to get us into Paris Brilliant. if people need it. So who's actually taking part in this rally? So we have a bit of everybody. We've got self-builds, we've got people that have been driving EVs from 2003. Um, and then we've got the new people that have just got their EV, like your Motability customers. Uh, we have 50 of your guys coming along in their brand new electric vehicles. They want to know more, they want to know how to charge. So it's a really good mix, really so, good. So the accessible place for charging can take these 50 cars or they have to take it in turn? So they, we have, <laughs> a, the space is around 24 spaces. Okay. Now, most of our vehicles are as I said, won't need to charge. Yep. Uh, we do have charging in Paris. We've got uh, mobile charging coming with us as well, but we're doing it in stages, the start line, so everyone will go, oh, okay. next lot go, next right. lot go. I kind of see, saw it as this great load of people oh, going in one go. <laughs> <laughs> it'd be a manager's, or a manager's uh, headache, it'd be a nightmare. Yeah. <laughs> so it, it all kicks off on the 1st of July in London. So what's the plan from there? So on Friday the 30th of June, we have a pre-party in London, Westminster. We've hired out a lovely restaurant for everyone to meet each other, have some great food and some great drinks. Um, in the morning of, we leave Westminster City School. We've hired out a whole school so everyone has a uh, space to get in and get out of the car park. And then we head down to Brighton where we close two miles of Brighton seafront for the day. We've got Motability taking a stand. We've got some of your charging companies here taking stands. Again, food and drink in Soho House. And then in the evening of, we take the overnight ferry from New Haven to Dieppe. Oh, right. And then drive, for, drive into Paris where we have another awards ceremony. We're greeted by the French mayor. It, it's good fun. So is it something that people have got to be invited to? Can people just join in? Anybody can join in. So if you take a look on our website, the London to Paris Electric Vehicle Rally .com, you can register for your ticket. Okay. Um, I know Motability have a few tickets as well that they might be giving out to people. <laughs> I can't confirm or deny. So uh, yeah, anyone can get so involved. So anyone can get involved, anyone can get they involved no matter if they have an electric vehicle, it's road legal and it's taxed, they can come on board no matter what type. Lovely. And it has to be a car, you don't want any bicycles. We have electric planes, we have bikes, we have an electric hovercraft, uh, motorbikes, anything electric. As long as it's electric. They can come along. Probably not a mobility scooter. 
I don't know, you might need a couple of charges. <laughs> you can give it a go. <laughs> so you've done similar before. What yeah. do you enjoy most about these rallies? Bringing everybody together and showing non-EV drivers how easy electric vehicles are. So as I say, we closed two miles of Brighton seafront. We have 35,000 visitors that come down to test drive EVs, see what they're all about, ask about their home energy tariff and converting people into this new way of driving. Yeah, yeah, lovely. That's the most important thing. And I think that's what you guys are kind of doing here, you know. Yeah. I've been on the Nissan stand earlier and they were really pushing people to go electric and it just makes so much more sense. Yeah, I mean, I think the thing is there's been quite a lot of, so I think fear yeah. as well, like for myself, it's like, oh, I'll never be able to charge. And actually I had a go and I was like, oh, I, I can. I mean, there's, I, so there's, there's things like that. And I think, yeah, it's the range anxiety. We've got to change the way that we think about how many, how much, distance we've got left Absolutely. in our vehicles but you know. and i mean john i know uh, motor billy they're pushing hard for change as well really pushing mm. hard john jenkins uh, we've been working with him closely for motability and he's trialing all sorts of new charging infrastructure which is great but most people if you have a driveway if they don't do more than 300 miles without stopping yeah an ev suitable and if you are doing 300 miles without stopping that must be crazy. I, I can't go more than 150 miles without stopping. I've got to drive, drive down to Brighton after this, and uh, it's about 200 miles, and I know yeah. I'm going to stop 100 miles in for a, a toilet break. Yeah, and it probably make us better, safer drivers because we'll have to have perhaps the you know the people that would drive three, four hundred miles without a stop. Yeah, you won't it's be able not to now, a safe so. way to drive. No. You, know, you can stop and you can have a break, go to the toilet, have a coffee, and if you do need to charge, by the time you've gone into the services into the toilet and grabbed a coffee your car's ready to go again yeah, exactly so what's next do you want to take the rally to even greater distances in the future absolutely we see? absolutely <laughs> so we're currently planning uh, potentially an amsterdam event um, which will be great fun but we'll uh, see how we get on with paris you're not you're not going to do a world charge one yet <laughs> oh no too much planning for me <laughs> <laughs> thank you harrison that's all we have time for in this session and at the event today thank you to everyone who made the big event streamed live possible this year it's been fantastic to be part of bringing the event to those who weren't able to join us here at the NEC in Birmingham. Whether you've tuned in to all of the online content or just dipped in and out for the sessions you're most interested in, or perhaps you combined being at the show for one of the days with tuning in either way. Thank you for joining me. We hope you found the event useful and are taking away lots of new information about the Motability Scheme. We'll be collating any questions we didn't manage to answer over the two days and following up on our Facebook page. And a huge thank you to all our exhibitors, our expert speakers, and to everyone involved in organising the big event. It's been such a great couple of days. If Birmingham was a bit far for you to travel, but you'd still like to come to an in-person event, there'll be one big day event taking place across the UK this summer. We'll be in Northern Ireland at the Icon Centre on Saturday the 24th of June, at West Point in Exeter on Saturday the 22nd of July, then at the Yorkshire Event Centre on Saturday the 12th of August. And finally, the Royal Highland Centre in Edinburgh for two days on Friday the 15th and Saturday the 16th of September. You can find out all you need to know about the events at motability1bigday.co.uk and keep an eye on the Facebook and Twitter pages for updates too. And if you miss any of the great online content from the last two days, it will all be available to watch on demand all summer. We'd love to get your feedback on the online content we've shared with you from the big event. Please use the email address below to tell us what you thought. Thank you again for joining us today. Have a wonderful summer and I hope to see you again soon. Goodbye. <laughs>